Hey folks, this is IOE throwing back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is off to your ninja. He is in his LT32. 432. There we go. <laughs> T-Rate game on Ur Urlenberg. And uh, yeah, we're going to see how this baby performs. So it's, it's a lot like a LT100 as far as its profile goes. And um, basically looks like a little squish thing. I doubt it has any gun depression, considering how t you know, short that turret is. But it's got to be amazing at scouting. Um, by the time this comes out, the uh, charity event will be over. But don't worry, based on the Saturday event, um, I'm sure Taz and I will do another one at some point. Um, it's been great fun so far. I'm recording this on Saturday, just after I finished doing the, the charity stream, and uh, it, was, it was a ton of fun. Where I'm sure we're definitely going to do one at some other point in time. So if you want to get in on that, um, I'm sure it will be available at some point. Oh, being a bit too far up the hill means he's actually getting hit from both sides, and he bounced his first shot. But of course, the enemy didn't. Oh, and there we go. So he's actually taking more damage than he's doing until his allies come here and start helping him. Um, and then after that, he's okay. But, uh, what? I swear. I swear I was in fixed position half that time, but obviously I wasn't. Um, unfortunately, he's not quite able to get drive wheel shot before the enemy is able to get the turret up and over the hill. Uh, and so, it's really what he's looking for, though. He's looking for it be able to shoot the driveway out and freeze the enemy um, while he can't fire back. Ooh, nice shot into the EBR there. Um, well, I mean, it, it basically parked him, well, drove past him and let him shoot at it, which was really nice to the enemy. It's, it's always great when the enemy does stuff like that. It seems to be doing it again. We're going to get another free shot on him. And one more. No, not quite before he's down the other side of the hill. It's unlikely he's going to make that same run again because, well, you know, that first run almost cost him his life. Um, but apparently he may be thinking he can get away with it. He's definitely way too far up here. And the Lorraine is not, in fact, going to be able to cover his retreat. One more shot. Oh, Lorraine does, in fact, pop us. But there goes both enemy scout tanks. Good. With them down, this is going to make this a lot easier. Unfortunately, though, um, you know, 100 health up to you. Also, never do that rush. <laughs> Not when you're on this little health. Um, it's all, it's just a great way to get yourself killed. Um, he can be saying, shooting at the side of that IS-2 turret. That's definitely a spot he can pop around through. Oh, yeah, let's shoot at the uh, drive wheel of that IS. I, that'll work, too. Um, I mean, if the IS is just going to leave his... Oh, that shell dropped low. If it hadn't, that would be a dead IS. Well, there we go. Apparently, he's just going to hang out in the open space where we know we can shoot him. And so that is a dead IS, too. Um, not very likely we're going to get the IS uh, with it lighting him again. Uh, and this is kind of a silly thing to be doing. Because we are definitely lit right now. Uh, whereas if he was using the bush beside him, he'd actually have a lot more cover. But he's not really thinking about that. He's just thinking about getting shots at. Uh, I mean, shooting at T29 from this far away is not a bad idea. The only thing about it is, of course, he's T29, which means if you want, you can see the front of the T29. You're not going to do anything to it. IS is rolling through, but I don't think he's going to roll through an area we can actually see. Or at least we, not an area we can shoot at into, anyway. Nope, he's going to park right there. Warren's going to come up into a spot we also can't see him in. Oh, we're at T29, and he's in, is he looking away from us? Yep, he's looking away for us, so we can actually just drop shells straight into him. And he doesn't realize he's getting shot at from this direction. Or he doesn't care, I don't know which. Um, 
He seems to be like angling his armor for the guys in front of him, but of course, that's not what's shooting out. Oh no! As we miss a couple of easy shots and let him walk away. Oh yes, now trying a similar deal. Uh, except for him, it's gonna be just as painful because he's also not in a great position. Oh look, in your artillery. Knowing that's down there and mm, we could push forward and go for it. Uh, there is the, the whole thing about the Lorraine still that being there. The Lorraine is definitely has, has the ability to shoot us down. Um, okay, well, could just go for it. But that's a, a great way to get killed if you're not you know, picking exactly the right moment to go for it. As the M12 kills um, our ally there. Now the M12 just firing does mean that it's going to be basically disarmed for several minutes. I'll bet a minute. Um, probably more like 30 seconds to be exact. But um, those 30 seconds are definitely up by now, by the way. So it's going to be rearmed by the time we get there. Oh, hello, Mr. Warren. As the snapshot takes him out of the game. But because of the fact that we've been spotted, um, that M12 is knowing. Definitely knows we're coming right now. T34-100 on the other side of the map. 50 Amex. Um, Amex. <laughs> 1375. Um, unfortunately, not able to get the kill, but we are. And we, you know, seal that Pascucci's medal down. And we're sprinting for the other side. Oh, look. Am I in the T-34 is coming to us for some reason? Rio, it's just time to take it out. Yep, yeah, there we go. That is game. Unfortunately, not a Radley Walters medal, but still. Great game, none of this. Let's jump over and see what his battle results are. Ace Tanker, Bruiser, Duelist, Fire for Effect. He gets four bonds, a Pascucci's medal, High Caliber, Tank Sniper, and the Top Gun Award. Not bad. Don't care what you think. Ah. Well, unfortunately, don't care what you think. Your tank driving could use some improvement. A lot of improvement. Well done, uh, Off Duty Ninja. Aimed to 4,500 damage. 1,400 base experience. That's extremely hard to do. And a tier 8 or tier 10 tank. Um, wow. Just all around. Great job. Thank you so much for saying this in. I can't wait to see your next game. And he made money off of this, even with everything else. Good job. Thank you all for saying, uh, for watching. Thank you for subscribing if you want to see more of this. And I'll see you later as IOE throughout.